Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we will go over the one trade that we took for this week. For the entire week it was a pretty boring slow market but to wrap it all up we took a single trade and luckily it was a winner. So stay tuned and check it out. Good morning everybody and welcome back to daily forex market analysis it's friday the march 15th the thing is that i haven't been uploading the entire week and not because i got lazy or something it's because you know i haven't got any action i did my morning analysis i came here i did record this few short few minutes video but you know i never got to record in the afternoon session because there was no action for me i didn't took a single trade this week Maybe today will be different or, you know, I, you know, whatever. I'm going to upload this video and just tell you why. So just that you can see that why haven't I been uploading the videos and that you can see the markets and how, you know, it can go entire week for a professional trader not to put a single trade in because the opportunity didn't show uh, for him or her. So that's another lesson that, you know, it is very good and a very, very good to know. So with that being said, let's, you know, maybe, maybe today we will get a, a trader, but I don't know this. I, I do see something here on the USD CAD and I want to go straight into this. Okay. So on the USD CAD, we can see this here, which might be a bad pattern. Look. Where is my 8086? Yeah, there you go. So X to A, A to B, B to C, and C to D completion. Okay, so if it if the price action comes here, I'm gonna be engaging into the pad pattern on this pair. Okay. Of course, I got I you know the price action first on USD CAD. I don't know why don't why don't I have this my reminder shares, but the price action on USD CAD needs to go overbought and oversold uh, b below 30. Uh, yeah, so it's almost there uh, for me to go in a long position. But you know, it it might, it just might. So I'm gonna set myself a reminder here. Settle. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's it for the USD CAD for now. I don't see anything else might be something like this but this is not the X point for me okay so I won't be getting into it but let's let's just see for you might be a Gartley might be a Gartley and uh, where is 61 yeah this could be a Gartley and for the Gartley on this pair I need a shouldn't go overbought and oversold yeah so we will see Okay, so with that being said, let's move to Aussie Cat. Aussie Cat, Aussie Cat. What do we have here? We might have a big cipher, but I haven't tested it yet, so I don't know. This would be X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. And I, my fibs gone, uh, went crazy, so we need 38. Did we touch it? Yes, we did. Uh, where is 33? Let's just remove the 33, which we are not using. Yeah, we touched the 38, and now we need to see did we touch the 127 here? <coughs> uh, it's not, well, let's do this. Well, 1 point, uh, uh, no, 112.7. Yeah, I think this will work. Let's try this one. Yeah, there we go. 1.2. Start with one one twenty seven is one point. Yeah, I'll have to check these levels, but I think I think that uh, th this will be good. I think this will be good. I I don't know. I'm not sure why this here is not why my fibs got you know screwed up. Okay, well, what I can do real quick here is I can use the actual extension. And check it out for myself with, with with the thing that I know that it's working. Let's check this out here. There you go. And I need an extension 127, uh, 27, 127. Yeah. So it's touching it. Okay. So it is touching it. So that is that is good. Okay. 
uh, it's touching the 127, it's not uh, touching 141, so the, uh, the uh, cipher pattern would be at 78.6 level, which is around here, 78, my fibs are wrong, everything is wrong, 78.6, but we are not, we did not backtest the Aussie CAD yet, the cipher pattern, so I will not be engaging into this pattern. There we go, Aussie USD. What do we have here? Nothing. We have just, uh, we breached from previous uh, outside return, we moved into the bullish move and then we breached it, so we are in consolidation on our one uh, as, uh, in forms of patterns. So I don't see anything else, so let's just move to Euro dollar. Euro dollar, there was a there was another uh, there was a cool video that I did this week that I didn't get to upload because the afternoon session showed me nothing, which is basically I'm going to show you right now X to A, A to B, B to C, and then we have a six uh, C to D completion right there. Uh, but this candle here was my last candle for the day. I need to switch this to the GMT. There we go. So this candle here was the last candle for the day from far, 4, in the, 4 p.m. to until 5 p.m. And I didn't get engaged with it just to see that I would probably get stopped out. Well, the thing is here that price action did rally down in my direction first and then it reversed and hit my stop loss. So that's very good lesson. Another, another lesson of how you need to follow your, your, your plan. Okay, so let's move forward. <coughs> we have pound dollar. What do we have here? We have... Uh, yeah, I don't see anything here that would be um, of my interest. At least not, yeah, uh, yeah, not nothing here. Nothing here for me. And then we have pound yen uh, as well. Very similar movement to the pound dollar, if you can check it out here. Very, very similar pair. Some would say they're correlating, but I don't believe in that stuff. Yeah, they're moving similar, but you know, some I can go long on a pound yen and I can go short on pound dollar and win both trades. So that's not, you know, I'm not worried about them correlating too much. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything on pound yen. Yeah, so the only thing we have f so far is pound USD CAD and maybe Aussie CAD, but I won't be engaging in the Aussie CAD. In USD CAD, I might get into a trade. Aussie USD, we have nothing, Euro dollar, nothing, uh, and then we have, um, yeah, pound and pound yen, pound dollar and pound yen, which look very similar, but yeah, I haven't, I, I don't know, I don't see anything here that would be of my interest. Yeah, guys, and with that, maybe you have actually A to B here, that that might be something. Let's see. Yeah, not even that. <coughs> Not even that. Yes, nothing so far on this pair for me. I will just watch uh, uh, USD CAD and maybe end up today, this week's, you know, maybe end up, wrap up Friday with a win. Uh, because we haven't taken a single trade since, since last week. And with that being said, guys, again, thank you very much for staying until the end of this morning session. Uh, and see you soon in the afternoon session. I hope so. Bye bye. Hi guys and welcome back to the afternoon session. It was actually a good week because, because when you end a week following your plan, it always ends up being a good week, whether you're in a drawdown or you're up uh, on your capital. But today was the week where we, are, we did follow our plan and we are up. But to show you this, I uh, in the morning session we were looking at this X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, and I said that I'm going to get engaged into it if the price action comes here. And I did get engaged to it, and the price action actually hit both of my targets. But to show you this live, uh, I want to bring up my... I did an Instagram story on this while the uh, price was moving, actually. So I want to bring it up and show it to you, okay? So here it is. Okay, so here we are. Finally, we got engaged into trade first live trade for this week on USD CAD bad pattern that I mentioned uh, in the morning pre-market analysis. Uh, it's currently, you know, rallying up and we are up like what? 10 pips or so, something like it. And we are still like five pips to our targets, which would be very nice for those targets to get hit. I just wanted to record this, you know, 
during during the trade videos that you can see how I'm just sticking with my plan and how I'm trading it. Okay, I got engaged here. I had to trail my targets a little bit down because my price action did went against us for a little bit. Now I'm waiting for price action to hit two pips to the target so that I can trail my stop loss and then I cannot lose anymore on this trade. Yeah, now let's get back to the afternoon session. All right, so now when you saw uh, the live trade actually that we took today on USD CAD. Let's check out what else did we have on our radar. And uh, by the way, to you know, to spoiler alert: there there was not a single trade besides the USD CAD that we uh, that we took today. So this is the only trade that we took. However, we did watch a few other trades, and it looks like like this was a cipher that I was checking out, as you can see here. Uh, but I didn't take it X to A. A to B, B to C, and then C to D completion actually comes at 78.6 right there. Here, now it just the, the only thing that matters here is did it already hit our targets one? It did not. It didn't yet, but there is a high chance of this pattern to complete here. Let's see how far did it come. It came two pips, around two pips to break uh, to our targets one. So I would have my stop losses at break even, and I would uh, I would be you know in a risk free trade, which will probably hit at least targets one. Yeah, but that's we didn't. I didn't take this because I didn't backtest it yet, uh, so I just skipped it. Uh, but it's good to see your predictions uh, come through. Aussie USD. I didn't, I was not watching this pair. Uh, there is nothing here. There was nothing here for us today. On Euro dollar, I was eyeing up uh, one pattern that I didn't mention this morning, X to A, A to, uh, it was actually X to A, A to B, B to C, and I was expecting price action to come here for a Gartley pattern. However, that did not happen. Then almost I made a mistake because this here that you can see here was not a Gartley pattern for me because the price action of this like here actually touched the 78.6 here. Okay, I, I, let me zoom in. Okay, this actually, this this candle wick actually touched 78.6, so it's another Gartley. And if it was, um, I would got stopped out. I already checked that. So when we have pound dollar, I was waiting for some kind of a bad pattern here, but the A got violated, so nothing here for us today. And then we had a pound yen, uh, also nothing. Actually, there, there was a bad pattern here, X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D, but it not complete in the time period that I'm allowed to trade bad. So, you know, nothing happened. Uh, we are wrapping up a week with around 20 pips up. Let's see. I believe it was uh, around 20 pips. I don't even know because, you know, I... Let's, let's see what was the target. Yes, here we go. It was like something like this and then 38. Yeah, around 15 pips here and 30 pips. So it's around 45 pips and we are up, you know, almost half of a percent on this single trade for this week, which is pretty decent a week. Uh, long may it continue. And yeah, thank you very much for staying until the end of this video. This is what I do on a daily basis. I do come up in the morning and I do record the afternoon session if there is some kind of an action. However, this week we had none. So yeah, uh, if you like this kind of a content, consider subscribing to my channel. I also do a lot of finances and investing videos, you know, Forex teachings and all that cool stuff if you're into, into that kind of things. With that being said, thank you very much and see you soon. Bye-bye.